the Freedom Front Plus is vowing to stop the misuse of black economic empowerment for corruption. The party earlier launched its manifesto in Pretoria ahead of the November municipal elections. Our reporter, Slendera Masakane, was at the launch and she joins us here in studio with the latest. Slee, a major rebrand on the cards for the Freedom Front Plus. Uh, what were the main points of its manifesto launch? Well, of course, we are on the campaign trails following a number of the political parties uh, that are la launching their manifestos and the Freedom Front Plus launching theirs in Pretoria. In fact, Gauteng, as well as the Northwest, uh, is where the Freedom Front really sees majority um, of its support. And the manifesto really speaking to the heart of the issues. The theme for this year for them uh, is stop the decay. So they're saying to the electorate, look, if you vote for us, uh, we'll ensure that there's clean governance, we'll ensure... Uh, that uh, you get your service delivery will ensure that there's infrastructure development um, in your wards as well as in your municipalities, but also saying that uh, if the electorate does vote them in, that uh, as much as we are in an era of coalition governments, they will never uh, um, uh, form a coalition with uh, the ANC as well as the EFF specifically. So... Um, all the other parties, uh, they're willing, to, I guess, to speak to them. But those two parties, they're saying that they certainly will not ever uh, get into a coalition government uh, with them. But let's just take a listen to what the leader of the party had to say earlier today. Every five years, and let I say only every five years, the voters of the country, they have the opportunity then to say... This is an opportunity that I want to be heard. But what happens in reality? Yes, because of the decay, and you have heard this morning about the decay, and I don't think I have to further elaborate on that. Why? Because you experience that decay. Where you live, in your daily lives, you experience the decay of local government. Therefore, the question is whether you are going to make use of this opportunity to stop the decay. And if I say stop the decay, I want to say that the Freedom Front Plus is not a political party to come forward and tell everyone, but vote for the Freedom Front Plus, because we will ensure that there are no potholes. We will ensure that your street lights will burn every night. No. We're coming to you to ask your support to stop the decay. Steve, what did the party's leaders say about BEE specifically in relation to that decay that they mm. want to stop? It was quite interesting to hear the, the leader of the party speaking around a national policy when we're actually going into local government elections. But he was saying that, uh, look, we're seeing that in our municipalities, uh, the rot, the decay that we're seeing is that we're seeing people who are in these positions but aren't exactly qualified. It's mostly catered, de catered deployment and uh, saying that this is... Um, uh, adding to the issues that municipalities are seeing, that this cater deployment uh, that stems from what they believe is affirmative action as well as BEE is not actually helping or assisting um, in uh, residents of uh, these wards and municipalities um, in getting their services. In fact, he called it, he said it wasn't black um, economic, uh, you know, um, uh, BEE. He was just saying that it was more like a, a black uh, elite enrichment. That's what he labeled it. So he was saying that um, if the electorate votes for uh, the Freedom Front, then they're going to actually do away uh, with that uh, affirmative action. Let's take a listen. What we will do to ensure those favorable conditions is firstly, that we will stop black economic empowerment. And I want to emphasize again, the Freedom Front Plus is not a political party that changes its policy after each and every election, depending on how many votes you received. From the start, we said that black economic empowerment is misused for corruption. And I said that to the president in parliament. 
Firstly, what are the expectations of how well the Freedom Front Plus could do in these local municipal elections? I think they want to really keep an eye on Anli. I think uh, many people really underestimate uh, uh, a smaller party, should I say, like the Freedom Front. But if you look at their numbers from the last national election uh, back in 2019, they more than doubled uh, their support. You know, they grew to around two, more than 2%, gaining uh, more seats in Parliament. Now they're sitting on 10. Uh, in fact, what people, or should I say, uh, experts are also saying out there when you're looking at the data is that a lot of the issues um, that the electorate has, let's say, with the Democratic Alliance uh, or the other parties, uh, they're starting starting to find their homes, should I say, in these smaller parties, uh, looking at some of those uh, those issues that really speak to um, what people are going through on a daily pay basis, especially when it comes to service delivery. So I, th I think it's going to be quite interesting. There's certainly one to watch come the 1st of November, and it's going to be interesting to see whether uh, any of the downfalls from the other parties will be the gains uh, for this particular party. So okay. we wait for uh, the electorate to decide on the 1st of November, and we'll see. Mm. Before I let you go, uh, a major rebrand is required, mm. perhaps for them to get more diverse votes. They yeah. have been historically known as a mm. traditionally white male support yes, party. Yes, How yes. has that been sort of uh, included in their manifesto? Mm. Are they uh, vocal about a rebrand or are they very clear about this is our target base and that's who we're sticking mm. to? Certainly. I mean, I think it's one of the stumbling blocks or, or some a hurdle that this particular party is going to have to um, uh, get over because I put it to one of the uh, mayoral candidates here in, uh, the, in Johannesburg saying, look, you have an issue around the stereotype that you are a white male Afrikaner party and, uh, you know, that's your constituency. And he was adamant on saying that, you know, the party is growing in leaps and bounds, that they are actually quite diverse. Um, and that they, they, uh, the, the issues they speak to in their manifesto uh, certainly are touching uh, a diverse number of groups. So uh, that's certainly something they're going to have to uh, get over. How they do it, it really remains to be seen. But I know w when you really think of the Freedom Front Plus, a lot of people still uh, think of it as that wild, white male Afrikaner-led party. But, I mean, it remains to be seen whether they'll be able to, to really get over that hurdle. Uh, okay, Perhaps going those, forward, those we're also going to have to start looking in South Africa more at liberal versus conservative mm. politics. That's something that's, mm. you know, very strong overseas. Yes, uh, certainly so. I think our democracy, of course, I mean, is still quite young, especially when you look at the number of political parties that we have. I mean, 500 plus, that just speaks mm. to just how young our democracy is. And when we are moving towards that mature democracy, what we're seeing happening overseas, where you really predominantly have maybe one, two or three parties mm. uh, that can really contest elections, then I think we're really going to see uh, where South Africans really lie when it comes to, uh, you know, whether they're more conservative or more liberal. But I think um, as South Africans, we're still, we're still quite diverse when it comes to those kinds of views, especially given our constitution and, you know, the rights mm. that, it, that we enjoy, uh, enjoy with it. So and with other 500 parties, we also have to look at 500 manifesto launches. So we're <laughs> going to be doing this for <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that Thank update you, on the Freedom Front Plus <laughs> Manifesto launch. Uh, Slendela Masakana tracking that story for us.